Hi, and welcome to our 99th test and measurement video. In this demonstration, we'll discuss some interesting aspects of the Tektronix MDO 3000 oscilloscope's internal arbitrary function generator. Specifically, we'll look at some waveform settings and output settings. We hook up AFG in the usual way by running a BNC cable from AFG out on the rear panel to one of the analog channel inputs on the front panel. Then, since it is not on by default, we have to press AFG. Assuming the channel button is on, the default sine wave appears. The AFG information bar is also present in the bottom part of the display. It is always worthwhile to pay attention to the information bars. They are contextual, meaning that they change depending upon how we are configuring the oscilloscope. Right now, information is shown pertaining to the waveform that is displayed. We see that it is the sine wave with 100.00 kilohertz frequency and 500.00 millivolt peak-to-peak -peak amplitude, that is, half a volt. Pressing the soft key associated with waveform, we see a list of the available internal waveforms. Sine wave is highlighted. Multipurpose knob A scrolls through them. For some waveforms, such as Gaussian, you have to press Auto Set because they have unique triggering and or amplitude levels. Then, returning, let us say, to square wave or sine wave, you may have to press AFG once more to get back to the AFG menu. Now, we'll press the soft key associated with output settings. This menu appears at the right of the display. Frequency may be set by turning multipurpose knob A and its reciprocal period may be set by turning multipurpose knob B. They are linked as one changes the other updates. Output settings brings up its own vertical menu again on the right. The top soft key toggles between high and low impedance. High impedance is used almost always. Use low impedance only when needed to match impedance to a load. But beware, high fault current can flow, burning out components and small conductors. The second soft key corresponds to noise. To the waveform that is displayed, you can add 0% to 100% noise. Notice that triggering is lost at a certain point. Added noise is useful when you want to test noise abatement methods, such as bandwidth limiting and waveform averaging. To try bandwidth limiting, press the channel button then the soft key corresponding to bandwidth. In this particular instrument, it can be cut to 250 megahertz or 20 megahertz. Two hundred and fifty megahertz eliminates a little noise and 20 megahertz cleans up the signal quite a bit. The technique is effective because noise is a very broad spectrum phenomenon 
with strong amplitude at high frequencies. Of course, bandwidth limiting cannot be used when the signal under investigation has greater bandwidth than the imposed limit. Don't forget to set bandwidth back to full. Another noise abatement technique is waveform averaging, also known as signal averaging. To try it out, press the acquire button. In the horizontal acquire menu, press the soft key that corresponds to mode. Then in the vertical acquisition menu on the right, press average. The number of signals that is averaged can be set from 2 to 512. At 512, notice how fine the trace appears. That is because the noise is largely eliminated. The waveform appears to pulsate due to the large number of waveforms that are combined, making for some latency. The reason waveform averaging works is that noise is a random signal, whereas the sine wave, as synthesized in the AFG, is periodic and repetitive. The successive noise signals can cancel out while the sine wave reinforces. Waveform averaging is only effective for a periodic and repetitive signal. Bandwidth limiting and waveform averaging should be chosen on the basis of the type of signal from which noise is to be eliminated. In output settings, the fourth soft key permits the user to set high level and low level of displayed signal using multipurpose knobs A and B. These values change in the AFG information bar and in the display information. The fifth and final soft key permits the user to select high and low values that correspond to common logic families. This is convenient when doing digital work because it eliminates a lot of numerical entry. Thanks for watching. New videos are added periodically, so check back frequently.